Tripletville. It's time to go to Tripletville. Today's video is about Bonzo's triplets and how he used them throughout his career and the studio recordings. Uh, when they were playing live, he played bass drum triplets all the time, all over the place, especially when it was a, uh, you know, like a slow blues. There's a lot of triplets. But on the studio recordings, I find it interesting that he, of course, starts the very first song on the very first album with this incredible, unique drum beat that incorporates these triplets for which he would become famous. Now, a couple of things I want to say about the triplets. Um, first of all, they are triplets, but there's two notes, not three notes. So I think most of you who are Bonham fans understand that the first note of that triplet is played on the downbeat, either usually on a cymbal or on the hi-hats, occasionally on, on a drum. But it's the second and third triplet that are being played with the bass drum like this. So on good times, bad times, everyone knows that beat. I don't really have to go into any explanation of that. Um, if you don't, you can look at my other videos. I have a tutorial on it. Um, but, you know, basically you've got the... Uh... I've also done some videos that show the technique where I talk a bit about the technique that I use. I don't play heel up, um, at least not typically, and I certainly don't play, play it well like Bonzo did. I, I'm more of a rocking motion kind of uh, heel to toe type player. Of course, Bonzo isn't the first person to do this. You know, famously, he is supposedly influenced by Carmine Ap Apice or Apice, however you say it. Carmine was said that Bonzo told him, you know, I got that from you and I just tried to emulate what you did, what he did with two bass drums with one bass drum. However, uh, Joe Morello, you can hear uh, him do this and other jazz drummers, Buddy Rich, uh, the great Philly Joe Jones. Um, if I can, I'll try to insert a couple recordings or clips of Joe Morello and Philly Joe Jones doing this very same thing. Um, they didn't necessarily do it this way. They did it this way. So anyway, it was out there. Bonzo may have heard it, you know, from one of those guys on a recording. Um, at any rate, he certainly made it famous. So these triplets are forever associated with him. Now, on the first album, not only Good Times, Bad Times features these triplets, he plays them on a couple other songs. And the first one that I can think of is um, Your Time Is Gonna Come. Toward the end of the song, as the song is going out, I think it is. Uh, he plays this. Okay, um, and then another example would be on I Can't Quit You Baby during the guitar solo. He plays, he plays the triplets and he does actually play three notes in a row during that guitar solo like this. On the second album, on Heartbreaker, he plays some triplets. There's not as much found on the second album, but on Heartbreaker, when, if you listen to the isolated drum track, you can clearly hear this.
okay? And then the only other uh, time that I can think of on the second album is on Moby Dick. And then those kind of morph into 16th note doubles. For the second album, I think that's about it. Let's see. For the third album, there's not not as much. Uh, just out on the tiles is primarily the only song where I think I can hear uh, bass drum triplets, and and that again has a what sounds like a three note combination in there. So that's this. I forgot about one part in Since I've Been Loving You toward the end when he's playing triplets. And uh, it's that, it's the part where, you know, it's a drag, drag, this part. So there's that part as well. Okay, now on the fourth album, there's a couple examples. Uh, of course, when the levee breaks, which is uh, this part. Black Dog is another example. So those are the two examples I can think of from the fourth album. Let's see, I have some notes here. On Houses of the Holy, it's, you know, there's this sort of triplets when he plays uh, on the ocean. Um, are about the only ones that I could think of on Houses of the Holy. If anybody thinks of any others, please put them in the comments. Uh, physical Graffiti, really the, the only instance there is, uh, I, I believe, is Kashmir. I think that's it for triplets on on physical graffiti. I, I could be wrong, but I think that's it. Um, on presence, it's only for your life, you know. That's about the only instance that I can think of on that record. And then in through the outdoor, there's there's none. Uh, some songs from the earlier days where he plays triplets is uh, like "Hey Hey What Can I Do." Let's see. Um, I think 
on uh, Baby Please Come Home. There was a time, right? Uh, something like that on Baby Please Come Home and also on Traveling Riverside Blues. Da 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 ba do ba da 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 ba ba ba. Um, and then often when they would play certain things live, he would throw in a lot of triplets. Like uh, on what is and what should never be at the toward the end, and the wind won't blow when we really shouldn't go. And um, there are other examples on, on songs like Dazed and Confused, you know. Same thing on Since I've Been Loving You. I hope you all enjoyed this video and look forward to making some more good stuff in the near future. Till then, be well everybody.